Hey guys, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, and welcome to a pretty exciting video. I've been working on it for a little bit. Uh, we are going to be doing a mission to Duna, but uh, this is no ordinary mission to Duna. This is a mission to Duna in which we only use solid fuel or solid rocket boosters or SRBs. So, no liquid fuel whatsoever, just the SRBs. Um, which are just basically the engines that have like fuel tanks attached to them, and they, they you know they, they burn solid fuel. Oh yeah, and you can't you can't turn them off or throttle them. Yeah, so that's that's fun. So let's get straight into it. So we've uh, we've already launched now. I'm gonna, I'm playing back at least the first part of the launch in one time speed because these uh, boosters also have ridiculous amounts of thrust, and I do have them thrust limited. You can only you can only you can technically change the thrust, but you can only do that in the vehicle assembly building where you can like limit the thrust or just the burn speed of the uh, the booster basically. So that's what we did, and um, basically what we're looking at for this bottom stage is a set of five Clydesdales. Um, the four outer Clydesdales have a little, they're not topped up all the way with fuel and they're burning um, at a higher thrust limiter than the center one. So those outside boosters are going to burn out first and then it's going to transition just to the center booster, uh, which is going to get us not quite into orbit because remember, these are, we can't stop them from burning. So basically what that means is, you know, we're going to have to find some other method to do our orbital insertion burn, which you guys will, you know, we'll see momentarily. Uh, just to finish burning out those side cores, and then there they go. Something explodes, I don't know what, but that must not have been important. And uh, now we'll go ahead and kick in the time lapse, and then uh, just finishing up the burn to get, uh, basically, since I can't control the burn, my app wap is just whatever it ends up being, so I believe it ended up being like 400 something uh, thousand meters, 450 something around there, which is way higher than any realistic scenario you would need, but you know, like I said, there's nothing I can do about it. I could have optimized it a little further, but that, you know, that takes effort. I mean, you know, the mission was a, a success, so, you know, oh, spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> I mean, why, why would I upload a video in which we have a failure? That'd be weird, but either way. Um, just uh, about to cross the Carmen line, which is the uh, marker, or the edge of space, is 70 kilometers past that. Now we've staged away that bottom booster, and then we're going to do our orbital insertion burn, which has those, um, we have four of those really small radially mounted uh, SRBs. I don't remember what they're called. They're the weird ones that no one ever uses, at least uh, not in sandbox mode. Actually, I don't think I've ever used a lot of these engines, or SRBs, or boosters, whatever they're called, motors. Um, so that was kind of fun because I, I pretty much exclusively play in sandbox. So that that is um, that is that is something of interest. Um, it's a nice spirit experiment with them. And with these ones, I also just have to burn, and then wherever I finish burning is where my orbit ends up. So I end up in like a pretty, you know, a, a, a fairly eccentric orbit. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we can now transition over to planning our Duna burn. But and also based on where the planets ended up, that basically. I'm doing like the least efficient burn possible. Like I'm burning at apple apps, uh, which you know, according to the Oberth effect, you want to be burning at peri apps. So, all the inefficiencies going on here, guys. But you know, the one thing about that's nice about SRBs is they are very cheap. Um, you know, in in real life, and also in KSP, like they are very very cheap. So you know, you can just just add more boosters if you want, and nothing bad will really come of it. Which is basically what I did with this thing. There are a lot of boosters. So now we're just going to do the burn, and also another time with these burns is I I have that one kickback, which I use for the burn, and I have no control over what happens to it. So I have to, I just hit burn, and then the thing will burn all the way until it's done burning, and then that'll, that'll be the end of it. I've literally, I, you know, if we overcook it, I really can overcook it. I just have to, you know, burn until it stops. There's literally nothing I can do. That's really the challenge of this video. Uh, the, the, to be honest, the more challenging part was flying it, not uh, not building the thing. Because, you know, building it, to be honest, was a little bit straightforward. You just added more boosters everywhere. If you didn't have enough Delta V, more booster, another booster, another booster, another booster. But flying it, that's, that's another challenge. Uh, but uh, if you can see uh, kind of midway through the booster, I have those f uh, four radially attached boosters. They are what I use for my correction burn to get to do now. So I use that main one as my my main burn, and then I'm going to plan an eject, ejection burn, a correction burn, uh, midway through my course, uh, just so I can kind of fine-tune my encounter with Duna, or actually get an encounter uh, with Duna that kind of intersects the planet. 
and we can so we can actually you know get there. Uh, while I'm planning that, uh, I do want to just, uh, say, guys, I am very um, thankful to you guys. Um, the channel has been going absolutely bonkers. Um, I had my second best day ever in terms of viewership and subscribers gained uh, e yesterday. Um, you know, if you're watching at the time of recording. So that was pretty nuts. So thank you guys if you subscribed. Um, if you if you haven't subscribed and you want to, um, well, you just you just click the button. And if you haven't subscribed and you don't want to, um, then don't. But I mean, if you can enjoy the content, um, it, it is an option. So yeah, thank you guys. And uh, if you didn't know, I do have a goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And if we keep growing like this, it's 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 going to be like no problem. So yeah, once again, thank you guys very much. And I will get back to talking about the mission now, because I don't think you care about me talking about how how my life is going. You want to know how this mission is going. So I am actually, I have those four radial amount, and I'm only going to be burning one, because I need to get really precise here. So, and you can also see how slowly those, that, the, that, um, whatever thing is going down, the maneuver node thing, or the delta V indicator. And that's in four times time warp. It's because I have the, uh, the, the, the SRB thrust limited. Uh, which is why it is going so slowly. And I do uh, discover a, a thing here. Um, it's kind of obvious, but um, if you you know if you think about it, but while I'm burning, I can just hit time warp and that'll that'll stop the burn because you know we're time warp and then as soon as I get out of time warp, we're burning again. So that that might be a little cheaty, but I, I do kind of use that to, to kind of like fine tune my thing just like tap, 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 tap. Uh, but I mean, I still have to. Either way, my 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 encounter was kind of garbage. Cause look, I'm on like a collision course, which is generally not what you want to do when you're coming in. Because Duna has a very thin atmosphere, which means slowing down in Duna is very difficult. Uh, especially because when I'm do I'm doing a parachute landing, uh, it would be ridiculous to try and time a a suicide burn like that. But yeah, parachutes are really the only logical way to do it. So. At least for this challenge. So it, it's really a challenge to be able to slow down enough so you can actually deploy your parachutes before you know like explode because you've crashed into the ground. So what I basically have is some more radially mounted SRBs and air brakes to kind of do a slowing down maneuver. So those SRBs are going to slow us down at the top of the atmosphere and then as the atmosphere gets a little bit thicker the uh, the air brakes are going to slow us the rest of the way down so we can hopefully deploy all, uh, it is I believe seven parachutes uh, at the top, you can kind of see there by the command pod, right next to that weird pink square, which is a glitch, uh, if you didn't know, I've gotten a few questions about that. It's a glitch with the visual mods, no idea how to fix it, I've checked the forums, it's very annoying, if anyone has any idea how to fix it, um, let me know, please, thank you. Um, I also destroyed my solar panels because I forgot to retract them, that was a bit of a meme, but... Either way, we're coming in now. I'm going to drop this down to normal time and speed because you can see how I'm getting real close to the ground and the parachutes still haven't gone out yet uh, because uh, I think I just hit uh, deploy there and, you know, we're getting real, real, real close to the ground. So I'm like, oh, geez, are the parachutes not going to deploy? Is this is this, is this going to be a failure? But no, last second, like one kilometer above the ground. There they go. And then we slow down just barely. The <laughs> this mission was so sketchy. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we made it. Um, we're still coming down pretty darn quick, about 12 meters a second, about 12, 12 and a half meters a second, actually. So we, um, I was actually, I was really concerned about us blowing up on the on impact, but uh, we, we don't actually, which is pretty surprising. It's not a very graceful impact, as you'll see here in a second, but I mean, it is an impact. It is a landing, actually, you know? You know what they say, any, yeah, there it is, just because we kind of like slide around. And say any landing you can walk away from is a good landing, so yeah. Now we're just gonna stage away those like um, those uh, those boosters and air brakes because they are unnecessary, and we can get rid of some surface activities that we actually can't do because all of the hatches are obstructed. If you haven't noticed, all the hatches are obstructed, and all the parachutes have been deployed. Something. Keep that in mind. And now we're going up again, <laughs> uh, because there, yeah, there's really nothing to do on the strip. We couldn't do anything, so I just figured, yeah, let's get going again. So um, I time worked out to a transfer window for the way back, and then I am just burning those three radially mounted SR. I've said radially mounted a lot of times. 
Uh, but yeah, we're mount, mount, burning those three radially mounted ones, and then I have that center one, which is gonna I'm gonna use for my ejection burn out back to Kerbin. And that is just a horrible orbit. That's not even an orbit. It's a uh, it's bad basically. It's, it's just whatever I could get. So my corp, my 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 interplanetary burn wound up like being four or five hundred meters a second more than it needed to be, which is actually quite useful because the um, the the uh, SRB that I have has like eleven hundred meters a second in delta v. So I kind of need to use pretty much all of that because as we all know those those engines when they start burning they do not stop burning so like if i used 500 meters a second of it, or 600 meters a second of it and then what do i do i i just have it burning on the back of me and i couldn't stop it and then I, i'd go way past my see let me making excuses for my just horrible horrible piloting skills and you know but this, this method worked. I know this is like a really weird method and doing a look screen for some reason. That's a problem with the visual mods that I need to solve. But yeah, I am, um, yeah, that is, <laughs> this is not, this is not a very efficient way of getting back at all, but it is a way that worked. And the way that worked is not always the best way, but it is a way. Someone, someone says that, I don't know. I don't know, maybe that's, we're starting our burn. The plume looks really kind of stupid on that. Um, that engine it probably hasn't been updated in ages because that, you know, those are like the, the engines you, you, you first unlock. First, one of the first, I believe, in science and career mode. So you use it like once and then you're done because you've unlocked something better. But in our situation, it was the, like, the only small, it was the sm only small uh, SRB that we could get. So now, you know, that it, it fulfilled our mission criteria. So I used it, and uh, I do actually have, wind up having a little bit of extra um, fuel, and I need to, you know, get rid of that booster because, or that engine, because, you know, we cannot be, so yeah, we just kind of, I hit stage and then I do like a quick maneuver and try and peel myself off. That's kind of why I had all those reaction wheels so I can kind of do crap like that. Because, you know, if you can't time your burn, your, your, uh, your fuel or your SRBs properly, then you will just do stupid methods. So um, now we're going to be doing our correction burn on our way back to Kerbin, which uh, I have a pair of Sepatrons burning at very low thrust limiting, or I have the thrust limiter pulled all the way back on them. I think it's to like 5% uh, percent of their normal thrust. And then they're going to do our um, correction burn, which is going to get us back to Kerbin. And these are actually, these here are mounted to docking, or not to docking ports, to... Um, uh, decouplers rather so when I'm done with them like I don't have to like do some weird peel off maneuver I can just hit stage and then they go away um, much more elegant method than the uh, previous but I do I do use a little cheaty thing um, in hindsight I probably shouldn't have is a little cheaty like the hitting the time warp thing but I mean also my uh, my encounter is also really garbage again so and there they go. Yeah, we are just heading straight down towards the planet, which uh, is not advised. Yeah, I'm gonna go with not advised. I was actually really concerned that we were gonna, we were just gonna explode on re-entry, like something was gonna over. Like I wasn't concerned with the heat shield running out of a blader because the heat shield will never run out of a blader. You can like drop it into the sun and it won't have enough. It will, it will run out of a blader. That is. Not exactly true, but you know, hyperbole, right? So, coming in now, I'm gonna stage away pretty much with just those reaction wheels, and then just gonna face a retrograde, and then hope that we do not explode, or we, you know, cause look how steep that is, and we're coming in from an inner planet, yeah, the not, not recommended procedure. So, there we go, just hit the atmosphere now, and then we're just gonna start to get some of the plasma buildup. We're actually fairly close to the KSC, which is kind of interesting. I was going to landing on the water just uh, next to it. Um, and here's where uh, our Kerbal, first of all, is just completely blacked out. Because, yeah, I look at the G, uh, the G uh, later, um, the maximum G, it was 25 G. So that was 
fun. So now we've just finished um, the re-entry and we're going to get ready to get our Kerbal um, EVA because I used all my parachutes to land on Duna, which actually wasn't the original plan. I was going to save the top one for um, for Kerbin uh, entry, but um, yeah, I didn't do that. And all the hatches are obstructed because of the parachutes are in the way. And now our Kerbal is dead. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um... I probably should have been a little more uh, careful with my parachute placement. It's food for thought. Black screen. Yeah. Black screen. We all like black screens, don't we, guys? Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching. This is the end of the video. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. And bye.